Hi, I'm Audrey Williams, your Techie Feely voiceover artist. This is something you may never have thought about, the different types of stars we can see from Earth. Not every star in the sky is the same kind, so it's time to know our stellar neighbors. I'm glad you're here. First up, the most common type of star, main sequence stars. This is what good old Sol is. Our sun is the same as about 90% of the stars you see up there. Main sequence stars burn hydrogen into helium in their cores, releasing a tremendous amount of energy, which is why they shine so brightly. Once a main sequence star exhausts its hydrogen, it expands like a balloon, inflating into a red giant. These stars can swell up to a thousand times the size of our sun. A great example is Betelgeuse. Don't say that three times fast found in the constellation Orion. They look really cool up there, but they're actually nearing the end of their life cycle. When a red giant finally exhausts its fuel, it sheds its outer layers. What remains is the core, which is hot and dense. This is a white dwarf star. Over time, that core will eventually cool down and fade away. It's not to be as showy as its larger cousins, but they play an essential role in the life cycle of stars. From main sequence stars to red giants to white dwarfs, our universe is alive with the star life cycle. And each star has its own story and journey. Keep looking up and stay curious about what those stories might be. And remember, the sky is not the limit. I'll see you next time.